tenants from the 10th Avenue property who are supposed to be speaking, come on up. I don't see you in the crowd, but I can't see everybody. And now we're going to have Fran Taylor, who's with the Tenants Union. Hi. I live in the Mission, and I know some of those new people who are moving in. I call them the people whose feet never touch the ground. I wouldn't recognize them because I don't see them at the bus stop. I don't see them at the laundromat. I don't see them at the corner store. They're not part of the fabric of the neighborhood like the people who used to live in those places. And I've been evicted twice, in 1984 and 1995, and I'm sort of living in dread of three strikes and you're out of the city. And the first eviction was, was a valid owner move-in, person moved in, okay. The second one was a bogus owner move-in. The person never did move in and then sold the property and it became upscaled. And now there's not even any place to go if you, if you get evicted that third time. And the only point I want to make is that you have to look at what somebody has done in the past to understand what they're doing now. If people are proposing more condo conversions to address what they say is the unfairness of the lottery. Well, what have they done in the past? I can understand somebody being frustrated. They're in that lottery year after year after year after year. Has anybody proposed a waiting list to make it a little more fair? That seems like a pretty simple solution, and I think that we could all agree that if you've, if you've uh, entered three or four years in a row and you haven't gotten in, you should go to the top of the list. Well, if they don't propose that, then what's the point? of proposing what they're proposing now. It's not to make it more fair. It's to make it, you know, for the rich. So, yep. go. Thank you. Thank you.